Hello YouTube, my name is C. Jacobson and I am here in my very first YouTube percussion tutorial video to obviously show you the very first skill that a percussionist ever ought to know. And that is how to properly hold a drumstick. All over, everywhere, there will be people that get hurt drumming because they're not using the right technique. And that's actually kind of a dangerous thing. So you want to learn how to hold it properly. That's basically all we're going to cover in this video is how to hold your drumstick and also how to uh, hold your arm positioning when standing behind the drum. So um, first side note before I get into the grip, um, well actually first of two. First. Um, in this video, I'll be using a pair of Vic Firth SD1 Generals. These are literally like the most popular drumsticks in the world, except um, one specific type of drum set stick. But this is really good for like a orchestra and concert band drum solos on a concert snare drum. These, these are a pretty good go-to default stick. And then second side note, when you finish assembling your grip, there should be about a quarter to a half an inch of stick sticking out the back. So as of now, you, of course, that's going to be hard to figure out until after you figure out where your hand goes. So for now, just assemble your grip anywhere in this portion of the stick. First, you want to place your thumb on the drumstick you don't necessarily have to do it on this side. I just use it as my measurement tool to figure out how much goes here. Um, firmly place your thumb on the drumstick. Next, you want to cross your index finger so it makes a right angle with the drumstick and touches at that middle knuckle there. From there, you'll just want to gently wrap the rest of your fingers around and kind of just loosen them up a bit because the angels, angles need to adjust a bit to provide for maximum comfort. And that's basically it. For a matched grip, you'll assemble it the same way here. And I'll show you the other common grip called traditional grip. I'll show you that in one of my future videos when I introduce to you marching snare drum. Alright, the only other thing we need to cover for today is how to position your arm, specifically like the joint angles. So let me just lower the stand here because you'll need to be able to see the drum. Also, let me get this drum. All right, so clearly I didn't lower it enough. So just a little bit more here. Uh, I guess that works. Cool. So first off, assemble your grip, thumb, finger, Wrap, loosen. From there, um, for learning purposes, we'll just go angle to angle. Sorry, I'm very controlling on where the drum is because it has a slant. Anyway, so first, this rotational angle here. Go to wherever's comfortable. There should be a little bit of space here. If you're really tense, making sure they're in full contact with your body. It's going to force your shoulders up and there'll be a lot of tension in your neck, your shoulders, and your back. So also, but if you're up here, you'll get very tired. There'll be tension again in the back, back of your neck and also in your shoulders. So you'll want your shoulders to be exerting very little force. They should be completely relaxed. Next, this angle here. We don't want to be having to reach out and play because again, tension, it'll also affect your posture negatively. That'd be really bad. But we don't want to be too close because it creates tension in your shoulder blades. So what you want to do, this is parallel with the body, this angle here. Fairly simple. Um, Finally, this angle here 
is kind of difficult because it requires all of the other angles to be assembled properly before you can find the correct angle here. So I'll come back to this one. Your wrists, and when they're in relaxed position, ready to play, uh, this joint here should be level. As for wrist rotation, this grip is called French grip here, when your thumbs are perfectly vertical here. And this, the only instrument I can think of where this grip is used is timpani. And since this is not a timpani drum, it's a snare drum, we will not be using that. However, we also don't want them, our wrists to be perfectly vertical with our thumbs horizontal. That's called German grip, and I can't think of any instruments where that's ever used. So, what's called American grip, we can't decide, so we just kind of balance out. Again, it's not quite a 45 degree angle in between, it's closer to 30 degrees. So basically, just go a diagonal closer to German, and that's your proper wrist. Now, move your body so that the tips of the, of the stick, that part's the tip, are going just past the center of the snare head. The snare drum should be set up at waist height. This drum's probably a little tall for me right now. But then the angle created when the drumsticks are approximately an eighth of an inch off of the drum with your wrists flat here, this angle correct, and this angle correct. This angle is now perfectly assembled for you. So that's what it looks like from the side. Basically, a general rule of thumb is wherever's comfortable. Okay, thank you. That's everything I plan to cover in today's video. So now that I've taught you a couple cool stuff, I have a couple requests to make of you. First, I'd like to see some good likes on my video. Just give that like button a good punch or two. Um, secondly, I'd like you to leave me some comments. I'm fully aware I'm not perfect. I'm actually relatively new at this. So I'd like you to uh, tell me what I can do to improve my lesson. Tell me if I did anything wrong percussion wise. And um, ask me if you have any questions about anything. I'm perfectly happy to answer them. And finally, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that you can learn more about the percussion world as I teach it. And also share with your friends, whether they're amateurs, experts, or just beginners. Thanks. I'm C. Jacobson, signing out.